Hey, fellow babies, welcome to 42 Minutes Later, where we dust off yet another cold one, crack open the jar of plenty, and relax <laughs> into something very good. <laughs> mm. What time did she come around? Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, I, I have that story if we want to go mm. there, but... <laughs> oh, okay. Mm. <laughs> yeah, no. No, but the jar of plenty. Welcome to the party, Germany. Hey, look, that mm. almost looks like a maple leaf, you see? Yeah, it looks like it looks like I've been scraped off the uh, inside wall of that toilet in Penzance. <laughs> yeah, not for less than twenty quid, I bet. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we were we were uh, we were uh, thinking like a a thing that I wanted to bring up first. To go here is some of the modern songs, like the biggest things on Spotify and you know and whatnot. Um, the song lyrics. Um, how do you say this right? Suck? Um, do you, uh, lyrics are probably something, you know, you have to use sparingly, that word. Yeah, I mean, um, uh, if you go back in, like, you know, time a little while back, and, you know, we we see the analytics. It's not like we're popular with the 20-year-olds, right? You know, <laughs> so, uh, so I'm pretty sure most of you know what I'm talking about, but you get somebody like Morrison or somebody or, you know, like uh, Lennon, McCartney, and so on, who could just paint a picture with lyrics. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, a submarine. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. You I'm not. To, no, no, I'm, I'm not. I'm trying yeah. to burst your bubble straight away, but yeah, you know, yeah. uh, right. There was some gibberish from them too. So, oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But you know, and nowadays it's uh, what are you going to do with all that chunk in my rump or whatever the hell and whatnot? <laughs> you know, I mean, uh, uh, I, I don't even remember that. So, you know, but uh, so I thought I, I would open the browser here and go. Uh, let's let's look at the list of the top streams on Spotify and just pick a song and check out the lyrics. Right? Mm, okay. Uh, Taylor Swift, number one, probably. Oh yeah, the chick in the bathing suit. Right. Um, okay. So here, I found a website that can show us this. Right. So, oh my God, holy fuck! Have you ever heard of dark mode? Look at this. I, 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 I'm going to get a tan. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, um, we got uh, The Weeknd, Ed Sheeran. I think he can actually write a song, Ed Sheeran, can't he? So he probably won't qualify for this. Uh, I'd say, well, I think he wrote one song and then just like slightly changes the words every now and then. Oh, uh, yeah, like that, uh, that band that uh, did Wonderwall. Mm. Oasis. Just, yeah, that's it. Yeah. No, they just ripped off the Beatles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um uh here. Let's look at this one. Dance monkey, tones and I. Oh, that sounds like a corker. Yeah, so uh here. Lyrics. Dance monkey. Dance monkey, dance monkey, dance Tone monkey, and dance I. monkey. Yeah. Okay, so uh Oh my God. Okay. Hold on here. Let me see if I can make this. So it's, you know, at least partially yeah, there, there, uh, they say, Oh my God, I see the way you shine. Take your hand, my dear, and place them both in mine. And you know, you stopped <laughs> me dead while I was passing by. And now I beg you to, I beg to see you dance just one more time. Ooh, I see you, see you, see you every time. Is that like, ooh, I see you, see you, see you? Like the Way Outs, remember from uh, the, mm. the Flintstones? We're going way out, way out. That's where the fun <laughs> is, way out. Remember that? Um, uh, so they say, dance for me, dance for me, dance for me. Uh-oh. I've never seen anybody do the things you do before. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's a that's an original line. Uh, they say, "Move for me, move for me, move for me." I, I, I. How do you how do you even pronounce that? A y i i i i i i i i. Yeah, one eye. Yeah, one eye is sufficient, Private. Um, <laughs> and when you're done, I'll make you do it again. Uh, oh. Um. Dirty. And you see how I'm scrolling and I'm not talking because they're just repeating over Ooh, uh, and no, no, that's over. The best, that's the best bet. Ooh, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's the that's the that's his cum sound. Ah, <laughs> yeah, that's when he Bingo. popped his rocket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what that's that was right before he had to put another coin in to keep the peep show going, right? <laughs> Just, see, but the thing thing is thing is though, Dick, you know, yeah, the, if you go back to the the, the first verse. I mean, it's not too, too dissimilar to some of the songs that were being written in the fifties and the sixties. Oh yeah, yeah, totally yeah. fair. You know, right. put, put your put your hand in mine, and you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me but, that you love me, and but it, but the first verse is the only one that has anything like, you know, something that's going to take you somewhere to it, and then it's just like. You know, yeah, noises. It does. Yeah, it does. It does seem like. Oh, yeah, okay. Run out. Run out. It's it's like Will Smith wrote it. Let me see you bounce with me. Just bounce with me. Just bounce <laughs> with me. Uh, it's just. Oh, I like to move it. Move it. I like to move it. Move it. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try another one here. Yeah, but um, the problem is the problem is the problem is sometimes sometimes <laughs> these sort of things are just catchy tunes. Uh, and it, it's kind of like irrelevant. But, uh, well, the no, but are. the discussion isn't about the music. Oh, it's about, you know, modern lyrics are basically shit now. Mm. Right? I like to pick out some from some some from the 70s that would be pretty bad. True, true. But in this day and age, it's not, you know, you don't get a lot of like uh you know, uh crafty content like poetry and that i don't know how to describe this properly but you don't get people mm. that actually seem to know how to write in pop music anymore it just seems to be gone yeah gone are the days where we had do 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 the funky gibbon the funky gibbon we are here to show you how ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> gone are, gone are those classic days <laughs> Uh, okay, here, uh, here's uh, what's this chick's name? Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa, yeah. Fuck. Okay. Uh, Lipa. Yeah. It seems to think I want to get porn. See, I know not to put the search up, right? Uh, she, uh, yes, yes, yeah, she, she's you know that's what she did when you know uh, she was at the school sports day and doing the long jump. Going, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Dua Lipa. <laughs> I like it. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to get this uh, so I can get the lyrics up. Okay. Um, if you don't want to see me, did a full 180 crazy. Think about the way I was. Did the heartbreak change me? Maybe. But I look at where I ended up. I'm all good already. So I moved on. It's scary. I'm not where you left me at all. But I'm all good already, but now it's scaries. Okay, so uh, don't show up, don't come out, don't start caring about me now. That, you know, okay, uh, you know, it's like sixth grade or so, but you're getting the point across, actually. Yeah, but if, uh, Karen, if Karen Carpenter sang it, it would probably sound great. Well, not, I mean, not today, but in the day, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. If she did it, if she did it, that would be a miracle. Yeah. Okay, so this is one of those breakup songs that's supposed to relate to like a 14 year old girl that's going through their mm. first real breakup, right? I see what's going on here. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So at least she's trying to do something. So I thought I was picking her out to be a surefire loser on this. Turns out I got that one wrong, right? You know, mm. there's something there anyway. Um, who else do we go at here? Um, the kid, La. L A R O I. Oh, it's got Justin Bieber on it. No, 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 we're not doing that. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Um, uh, who's that? Who's Post Malone? Let's try one of his. Rockstar uh, Post Malone. Okay. Recognize his name. I don't. Uh, what did I say? Rockstar? Okay. Uh, I've been <laughs> fucking hoes and popping pillies. Oh. God. Now, if Karen Carpenter is so. I rest my case! <laughs> Dick one, Post Malone zero. 
is 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 Ringo Starr been writing lyrics again? Uh, <laughs> no, he'd be putting paying in front of that. I think. <laughs> hey, hey, look, hey, but look, look at the look at the second line, man. I feel just like a rock star. Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> so again, these guys all go to the stealing. military. Right, they're all they're all stealing each other's lyrics. Oh, <laughs> yeah. thief! All my that. brothers got that gas, and they always be smoking like a Rasta. Um, <laughs> millimeters. Is that supposed to rhyme? <laughs> it's, why, why is mill, Why is it in millimeters? Fucking <laughs> oh, with mm, me, is call that, mm, Rasta. Mm. But uh, fucking with me, call up on an Uzi. <laughs> Uh, which my whip came what was back that? What was in that? black i'm starting uh, saying rest in peace to bond scott what he wasn't on back in black you moron maybe it means tom scott uh, <laughs> miss, missing his videos black they, back they, in black is the the album with brian johnson after bond scott died <laughs> Fuck it. They they make that thing go gra ta 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 pow pa pow pa pa pow. Oh yeah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus oh, This is it's awful. genius. Yeah, it's yeah. awful. It's awful. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, hey, we got a new member message shout out here to do. Uh, Georgie LaForge, Jordy's brother, except he doesn't have to wear the visor. <laughs> Welcome to Shell Apprentice. Hey, great to have you. Awesome. Thank you so much. Very cool. Cheers. Yeah. Ooh, that didn't sound weird. <laughs> yeah, can you? Yeah, uh, somebody in the chat mentions Bob Dylan. Can you imagine that? I'm pimping with my bitches. <laughs> Bob Dylan with an acoustic guitar and a harmonica. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dear. Okay. So I win. Thank you. Um, what was his name? Post Digger Hole or something? Fuck. <laughs> uh, who's that? I, the, the idiot who wrote that gangster rap we just put up. Oh, <laughs> Post Digger Hole. <laughs> well, I don't know what his name is. <laughs> oh, oh, is that what it was? Is that, is that gangster? Is it? Mm. Well, it sounded like yeah. it to me, you know. Yeah. But I'm thinking he's white because there's no N word in it. Ah, uh, yes. Right? Yeah. Or, or, you know? or, maybe, you know, or maybe he's just a good, good boy, you know. Good gangster. Let's see what he looks like. Hold on. Uh, <laughs> like four foot four foot eight scrawny with a <laughs> with a baseball cap on backwards oh dude you have no idea what's coming <laughs> oh oh my god mommy's he's, mommy's proud he's what uh, the he's, hell is going on in life man <laughs> he's had to write the words on his face so he doesn't forget them he looks like the kind of guy who had like a pocket computer in grade seven that just decided to go wild with a tattoo gun and call himself mm. cool. He, he is. I, I think this is one of those sort of situations where you know he's gone out, got tattoos. Uh, what? Well, I want to become a chartered accountant, but they won't. They won't let me in the offices, so I'm going to have to become a rapper <laughs> instead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. my god. Yeah, I was, I was think, I was thinking about being a counselor, you know, for underprivileged children. But uh, no, I decided to become a rapper instead <laughs> yeah, because yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I was scaring the kiddies. If you translate that writing under his eyes, it says "Nobody's Home." Mm. <laughs> Dear God, man, it looks like it looks like somebody just drew on him with a tattoo gun because he was passed out at a party. Mm. <laughs> like, yeah, or just f falling asleep on some wet newspapers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> bathe much? I mean, you know. <laughs> yeah, they're probably just written on with a sharpie, you know. Wow, <laughs> wow, that was crazy. Okay. Uh... Okay. So, um, how's your day out there, everybody? <laughs> mm. I don't even know where to go with that. No. Uh, well, there's a button for that. Oh, there is. That's right. Yeah. So, um... And now for something completely different. <laughs> Never helps. What we, what we need is the, the conversation cards. 
<laughs> oh, here, we'll show everybody. I got a new gag I can pull on the TV now. Because I took Ferris out of the end credits, I thought it was only fair to give him a gag now. So you'll see this from time to time. Hey, you can never go too far. B, if I'm going to get busted, it is not going to be by a guy like that. We thought it was a good thing to still keep him around. See <laughs> You should, you should have you should have put that at the end of the uh, the rapper dude. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Uh, I I um I got a thing I want to bring up too after, but uh, I have to find the right article for it because it's a story of a few things that are kind of you know within a couple hours of local to me. So I don't you oh. know yeah. But I thought you were gonna I thought you were gonna say it was, it's, it's a story of love, romance, and despair. No, not quite. Um, no, okay. But uh, actually, I, I remember most of it, so I can tell it quick without bringing it up. But um, there was this guy. Um, he's a complete idiot with the Freedom Convoys and stuff. Um, and he he's a big, prominent person in Canada for that. And he was rising through the ranks of veterans for freedom in a few of these freedom groups we have here in Canada. And... They decided that he was too extreme because he was literally calling for violence and whatnot. So now he's got a new group that's training, calling themselves the Guardians of Humanity. And <laughs> yeah, they showed up recently to a little protest rally, uh, you know, sort of close to me, a couple hours away. And they're walking around with like, you know, oh. black jackets and stuff. And they got handcuffs and everything. And they say that they're not there to cause trouble. They're just there to help uh, first responders and police in case something happens. Right. Yeah. Now, now when I, when I, when I was about nine, I had a bike uh, called a Rally Commander. Did it have a I big looked... front wheel and a little back wheel? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just no, it was just a, just a hoop and a stick. We called it a bicycle. <laughs> yeah. No, uh, and uh, yeah, so so I had this I had this commando bike. I've told this story before, but I'm going to tell it again. I had this commando bike, and and, and I thought, and, oh, I just love this bike, and so I invented the C R A which was the commando rescue association so all, so so we we would be just like that we would be assisting it'd be like cross between thunderbirds and this guy we'd be <laughs> assisting the as a first responder we will be out well as long as long as he's within the confines of the street that i lived in because I, I wasn't allowed to cycle anywhere yeah yeah and, and but, only yeah. until the street light goes on right <laughs> or yeah yeah until yeah till tea time <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but the, uh, but the thing is, I you know I I, I created this uh, the, the CRA, the Commando Rescue Association. I even had a membership card and everything, and uh, and I was the only member because to be part of the Commando Rescue Association, you had to have a Rally Commando bike, and I was the only one. <laughs> but you, you, see, <laughs> you see, to all the adults in the area, they were wondering why this kid was not wearing any underwear to go rescue people. <laughs> Right, well, just like mm. what you know, why can't you well, put I, on some pants? <laughs> I, I, well, I did, I did, I did have, I did, did have this thing when I was a kid. You know, they used to, you know, like sit, sit me in a uh, paddling pool or something in the garden when it was hot, and I didn't, I didn't like the feeling of having wet underwear. I was actually just like get out of the pool, pull my pants off. So that's probably that's probably why I was first responding with no underwear because I'd just been plonked in the paddling pool at the same time. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I have I have my reasons, officer. That's what I said to the judge, anyway. <laughs> oh my god! Um, Sorry. Anyway, what were we no. talking about? Your uh, your 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 shit ones. You know the the freedom the freedom guys yeah, who beat yeah, the crap yeah. out of you. Yeah. So yeah. they've got a compound that's literally like three hours from me, where they're training and stuff now. Oh fuck's sake! I'm not kidding. I'm not it's a, kidding. It's a, yeah. it's a paramilitary organization. That's what it is. Yeah. In disguise. Yeah. And they're literally like hours from me. So that's great. You know. Mm. Um. Oh yeah. the The only good thing of uh, the only thing that helps is. My area isn't a poor area on the whole. It's a little kind of rich little valley area. So there's going to be enough people that have cash that will be screaming at the governments and mayor's offices and blah, blah, to say, shut this fucking shit down. 
there wasn't there was a similar sort of thing in New York, wasn't there? Uh, there was a whole bunch of guys. Uh, someone in the chat will remind me the name of it, and uh, it would just be like a bunch of guys in like red berries and stuff like that cruising around New York, you know, it's like mm. almost like a, a, a so-called peaceful vigilante force, uh, just keeping an eye on, you know, like extreme neighborhood watch. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I can't remember that. I can't remember their name, but uh, yeah, I can't imagine what it's like for the actual, um, well, I can the tell you forces, the police and the fire services. Oh, they right. They must, must drive them fucking mad. Have these well, twats we around. And the the fun the odd thing about this is is we have a lot of rural folk in our area, and they all have like guns and stuff. And you know, it's not it it, it this is not an area to be a mouthpiece because there's always somebody tougher than you that will shut your shit up. So mm. I wouldn't doubt that things come to pass soon with a whole you know a, a a parade of rednecks that just go up there and say, "Get the fuck out of Dodge." <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it. It'll be it'll be interesting. Um. Um, we've got, uh, a couple of shout outs to do crazy cat bought a membership and it did not show up in the chat, but in the background, I have proof of it. So, uh, you know, crazy cat, big shout there. Welcome to membership. Um, we'll see if it eventually shows up. Cause I mean, it should YouTube loves the fact that the memberships and super chats shout out show up better then direct donations and stuff, right? That's their hook to keep everybody doing that. And we've also got um, Alan McMillan in the chat with a $10 direct donation in. So a huge thanks there. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I, it might be a tip. So I got to wait and see if the message shows up. It's one of those days where there's a back end somewhere from Google or Amazon or, you know, one of those big server companies. And everything's coming in very slow to me right now mm -hmm. uh we just had another yeah, one you always you, you always have problems with your back end though don't you yeah yeah well that's also because i'm old and broken but you know, <laughs> uh, yeah 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 I'm, uh, I'm not sitting on the hemorrhoid cushion but uh you know um we also had yeah, a swallowed that yeah 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 <laughs> We uh we had a twenty dollar in uh, direct donation in for the Boom Boom Fund for helping the heroic defenders of freedom in Ukraine, and that's from well, there's not a YouTube username, so let me just see if I can tag this name. No, I can't tag that name. So uh, who threw in the direct twenty dollar Canadian donation? Take credit for it in the live chat, and then yeah. I can Hands show out your username because I don't want to be doxing people, right? Mm. You know. Hey, I've got a brilliant yeah. idea. I've got Go a brilliant ahead. idea. Why don't we do a Why don't we do a fundraiser, and I can rebuild the CRA, the Commando Rescue Association, <laughs> and and we can go across to Ukraine and help out. Mm. So. I need I need uh, donations. Well, first of all, we have to get hold of rally bicycles and make sure they 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 start reproducing the uh, the commando bike. <laughs> and I need uh, a bunch of twelve year old boys. Any 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 older than that, they won't fit on the bike. So, uh... <laughs> and if we survive not having our channel taken down after him <laughs> saying that, we'll we'll see you tomorrow for the Ukraine update show. Hey hey, hey. oh no, there could be girls too. It's all right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't think I'd have, I would have allowed girls in the association back in my day. But I think not when you're think, running around commando, you freak. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think our uh, our organisation has become rather progressive, and we we will be, uh, you know, taking any any gender to join the CRA to go over to Ukraine on our commando bikes. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> How, how Monty Python got, has this conversation become? I've got. I, it, look, I, I had. I, I had a box of plasters in my little back in the little pocket at the back of the bike. So uh, you know, if, <laughs> if you had a scratch or anything like that, I could I could put a plaster on it. So it would be all right. <laughs> So the the mysterious direct donation in that was from our newest member, Georgie or Jordy La, or Georgie LaForge. Dear God, now I'm confused. Red alert! Yeah. Red alert! Georgie, get to the engine room and say something confusing. We also have a super chat. We do! 
Um, beer, 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 beer fun from oh. uh, Chuck Yamarats. Yeah, I like beer fun. I like beer fun. <laughs> he needs it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's not cheap not in fucking, Canada. I'm not fucking paying for it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, then we'll have to rethink your existence yeah. now, won't we? <laughs> yeah, he, he he does the work, I buy him the beer. <laughs> That's how it works around here. Yeah. Mm. It's a great plan for one of us. Mm. <laughs> um, um, oh, I, um, I finally made a note to go and buy more rechargeable batteries so that I can have the little bubble say things from the dog again. Yeah, the batteries ran dry and it takes triple A's and I'm not just going to keep buying triple A batteries. So I'll go get a set of rechargeables. It couldn't have been using that much power, surely. Well, know, I kept these, forgetting these to turn days. it off and I'd wake up in the morning oh, well. and come down for coffee and it would still be on. I'm mean, uh, like, you know, uh, you know like Tom Hanks and when he gets marooned on the island and he's forgets to switch his torch off. Never watched that one. Mm. Yeah. Mm. No, it's a good movie. Yeah, I hear he had a love affair with a soccer ball or something. Yeah, well, it was a... Uh, I always get it wrong. I always say it was a basketball. Was it a basketball? No. Uh, was it a volleyball? Uh, was it a basketball? I can't remember. I don't know. I can't even remember. The, Wilson. Yeah. Yeah, Tether yeah. Ball? Volleyball. Why did he name it after the guy that peeks over the fence on Home Improvement? I never <laughs> understood that. Because no, it was the name. the name was written on the box. Oh, <laughs> is that it? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, that's funny. It's a, it's, it's a sports brand there, Dick. You, you probably wouldn't know much about sports brands. Oh, I did before like this in rock and roll. You know. <laughs> no, I said brands, not bands. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was a sporty person at one point in life, you know. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was a fan of like, NBA basketball in like 79, 80, and 81. Does that count? Well, you were like seven foot fucking tall at the age of 16. So no wonder you were. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was amazing at basketball until other kids caught up to me being taller because I got to six foot tall pretty quick. And then everybody else slowly caught up. And then when everybody got to be similar in height to me, uh, then I had to actually make an effort. And nah, I wasn't into that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there, there went where went your uh, college degree um, uh, finances. Oh, uh, Mike yeah. seventy one no, no sponsorship. What? Yeah, yeah, Mike seventy one in the chat says it's the same ball from Top Gun. Oh, so homoerotic. Got it. <laughs> which 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 ball in Top Gun? The uh, left ball or the right ball? Yeah, from the beach. <laughs> <laughs> from. Tom Hank, Tom, uh, Tom Cruise's uh, little legs. Yeah, yeah. How did they? How did they make the p part of the beach that he was running on taller, so he was the same height as everybody else? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. They did make it taller. They dug trenches. For everybody else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. He was probably on the side of the camera always, right? <laughs> they're, they're probably all on their knees. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, but it's, it's called false perspective. You know, we, we it's yeah, yeah, all the time yeah. visual effects. Yeah. yeah, just keep him closer, right? You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. That way well, he doesn't Tom have Hanks. to look. Yeah, Tom, that Tom way. Hanks, Tom Cruise, he wants to be closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, I mean, like with Tom Hanks with Nicole Kidman, it must have been like, she would have no, been like. You're doing, it, you're doing it now. You're doing it now. Tom Cruise and Nicole Kidman. Oh, Kidman. yeah. 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 We, yeah we've got, she, we got, we got into a loop now. we saying <laughs> Tom Hanks now yeah, every time yeah. I meant Tom Cruise. <laughs> okay. Uh, short Tom. Mm. <laughs> but Nicole Kidman must have been like, you know, seven miles behind them to make them look the same size. <laughs> yeah. Get, he got to kiss her ass a lot, though. Mm. <laughs> just right there. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, oh, uh. so um, what? <laughs> it was terrible. It was uh, terrible. He, she, she, you know, complained about doing sixty nines with him, and all, she, all she, all he, he could reach was his belly button. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's not it. <laughs> <It's>, yeah. <laughs> 
uh, your little man in the boat he's, he seems to be in a little raft at the minute. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah he's doing about 20 knots honey I can't catch up <laughs> Oh dear God! Let's, let, we dug a hole now. <laughs> there was. Ooh. I was going to say. Well, I was going to say. No, while we're talking about movies, there was a there was a thing um, uh, came out recently with uh, Miriam Margoyles, who was in Harry Potter movies. Oh yeah, uh, and and she was she was uh, claiming that Harry Potter fans need to grow up. <laughs> And, and and leave the, the fandom behind because it's a it's a kids kids film, uh, you know. So yeah, what are your thoughts about that? Because I I mean, That's... give you some background on Miriam Margulies. Uh, she, she I can't what no what like, character she played, but she's a really batty, grumpy old actress. I can't stand her. Is she on OnlyFans now and just doesn't want the oh, kids God. showing up? God, I hope not. I hope not. <laughs> yeah, you have to look her up see what you know what she looks like but um okay. yeah 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 so so it's like you know uh, she looks yeah, like a 47 fans. ford that was hit by a train <laughs> an, uh, an ugly one at that <laughs> yeah no this this whole idea that fans need to you know throw away this thing you know the, the that's crazy the fandom they've had for years yeah it's it's an interest it's an interesting idea because in some way it's true but at the same time it's like a real sort of like grumpy flipping attitude to take no you know, that's stupid with a franchise that made her famous no that's stupid because like look behind me i got a few little star wars thingies there and there's like a mm. you know uh, w uh woody and whatever her fucking name is and some south parky things and stuff that's what's wrong with that mm. Yeah, I wish I still had my R two D two socks. I had when I was seven years old. <laughs> I got Albert Einstein in a box right there. What's wrong with that? <laughs> oh no, no, it's Albert Einstein. That's yeah. We could hardly say he's a childish franchise, can we? <laughs> <laughs> I have to leave him in the box, otherwise he'd hit on my girlfriends. <laughs> but yeah, it's like you know things like um, you know Star Wars, you know. You, know, you can't it, outgrow it essentially that. It was it's impossible. Well, it was it was essentially made for kids. You know, George Lucas kind of like admitted that. But uh, yeah, I think if you watch Empire Strikes Back, you can watch it as a grown up. And oh still yeah, love it. I've done so, it a few times. Yeah, uh, so I, I can't see which it's coming from, but mm, yeah, I think it's just see, see yeah. You know, it doesn't make sense because I mean, is, is she just angry that she didn't have a contract that gave her residuals? Is that what's mm. going on here? Yeah, she, I think she seeps residuals. Yeah. Some people mm. need to go to the laundromat and clean those crusty panties. <laughs> no. uh, anyway, sorry, I interrupted you. What are you gonna what are you gonna bring up? Um well I was gonna bring up the fact that you were gonna bring that up. Oops. Yeah, yeah. So it worked out rather well, but you had the story that was gonna get done tonight, but we didn't. With the cute little mouse picture, and it's not a cute little story. No. Do you want to do the story? Yeah, yeah. Bring it up. Okay. I have, I have got the other story about the uh, crazy crazy man. We should bring that one up as well. Yeah, but yeah. yeah uh, uh, so on, on Marion Island, a ro remote outpost in the sub-Antarctic Indian Ocean, I'm not entirely sure where that is, to be honest with you, um, where an invasive army of zombie mice terrorizes the native bird populations under the cover of darkness see they, they come out at night <laughs> mostly <laughs> yeah no the island the island is like devoid of that clip <laughs> the island is devoid of human inhabitants um except for a research station uh and it's become the battleground between a million strong uh rodent horde and vulnerable albatrosses albatross albatross what flavor is it oh i'm sorry i'm sorry but <laughs> that little guy sticking his head out of the hole looks like he's about that big have you ever seen yeah. the size of an albatross mm, delicious 
When its wings are spread, it's probably as long as I am. <laughs> More interesting, too. And also, <laughs> so under the, the, the cloak of night, uh, these relentless mice launch gruesome attacks, fe feasting on the flesh of live birds, leaving behind a trail of death and destruction. Yeah. So they, they call them zombie mice. Um, because you know it captures the nightmarish reality faced by the island's bird inhabitants, whose lives hang in the balance with each nocturnal assault. But they're oh, oh, oh. tiny. What the hell? Like I <laughs> yeah, just got, got big, 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 big teeth. <laughs> do they? Do they? Do they? Like you know, um, plan and strategize and stuff, and like fifty of them just jump on a bird. Like I don't. I. I <laughs> I, I need details to make this make sense. <laughs> you know, or are the mice like, you know, 90 pounds? Like, yeah. you know, no, it's, it's, it's the old, um, you know, uh, scary rabbit from uh, Holy Grail. <laughs> oh, yeah, I nearly wet my pants. Eh? <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So, yeah, the. the yeah, so the onslaught leaves behind a trail of devastation uh, with survivors often succumbing to fatal infections from their injuries. I mean, these little bloody mice are just attacking them like mad wow. in, in hordes. Uh, yeah, they got to so, be leaping like that rabbit, man. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> Run away! Yeah. Run away! Uh, so the uh, South African government has mobilized a massive intervention effort to launch... Uh, the what they call the Mouse Free Marion Project. <laughs> Great name! Oh my uh, God! We, 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 here, here, they're going to spend nineteen point six million pounds uh, for the deployment of up to six helicopters. Well, the initiative aims to douse the island with five hundred and fifty tons of poison, uh, just targeting the mouse and the mice. Oh, oh yeah, wow. because the birds just you know they won't get it at all. No, no. And what? Yeah, well, just me. Just you know, it's very, very particular mice poison, not bird poison. Don't ask me how that works. Only ninety uh, pound mice eat this poison. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, this this is um, you know this, they're going to spend nineteen the million dollars to rid an uninhabited island, a small little one at that. Of mm -hmm. mice that get mad at birds. Yes. That's so well, weird. Well, the thing is that they're not indigenous. They were, uh, you know, they were stowaways, the mice, and they found their way onto Marion Island aboard seal hunters' ships. So, uh, yeah, it's wow. their fault. But yeah. mice spread everywhere because of ships. Why are we spending millions of dollars to deal with... That's weird. Well, well, and also, why is it only on this island? I do you have these like carnivorous kind of mice? What? what we never yeah, heard what of that nuclear else. tests were done there to create these vile beasts? Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, sort of people are scared of rats and things like that, but even rats don't attack. They should just send animals, in Godzilla to wipe them out. You know, <laughs> what? All the mice. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. They should just put a, a, like a, a billion cats on the island. That won't, <laughs> that won't harm the birds at all. <laughs> oh, that's funny. They create an entire ecosystem in, in putting one animal in to fight another. Oh, that didn't work. But now well, this guy will kill them both. Uh, that didn't work. <laughs> well, you, you know, well, you, you must have seen lots of like videos or things like that. You know, where you, you got cats. You know. Who, who make friends with like you know ducks yeah, yeah. and, and yeah. birds or whatever? So what you do is you breed like a million cats, <laughs> but bring but bring them up with baby albatrosses so they grow up as friends. Right, so when you drop right. so when you uh, you drop the uh, cats in by helicopter because you've already got the helicopters you paid for them now. Uh, <laughs> well, if you got you drop, seventeen million, why not? Right, you, know? <laughs> you drop drop the cats in, um, you know, on little cat sized parachutes. <laughs> Uh, to take out the mice. Yeah, with yeah. little cat-sized flak jackets and stuff, and <laughs> yeah, they could totally, yeah. like, you know, yeah, organize and attack. It'd be, yeah. Hey, we could call it the CRA, the Cat Rescue Association. <laughs> <laughs> they have to go in on little bikes, though. <laughs> yeah, commando, too. No underwear allowed. 
Uh, uh, that's funny. Crazy. Yeah, so uh, mice. Turns out they're mm. vicious murdering freaks. Who knew, right? I didn't. Have you got any other stories from the week you wanted to... Uh, yeah, there's a couple. You missed but, and you wanted to bring up. Yeah, but first I was going to sneak off for a beer because, you know, uh, priorities, right? So already? Just, yeah, 10, well, 30 seconds. Hold on. Is that, is that that, because that bloody super chat we got earlier, he, he said that super bloody super chat, he said the beer, beer fun. He's going, right, that's it. <laughs> he's off. He's off to buy beer. No! And he's going to leave me all alone with you. And we can talk dirty about him. Oh, no, we can't. He's back. Yeah, never mind. I forget what I just said. <laughs> Scrub that. <laughs> so yeah, here I didn't. I didn't do them all. There was a few I had to skip because there was just too many, right? Um, What's that? Beers? Yeah, no article. <laughs> Articles. Yeah, <laughs> so, I was yeah. Like, That's not like you. Just skip a few beers. Yeah, no, no and I never do many. that. Yeah. <laughs> I skipped. I skipped to the end of the twelve pack and started from the back and worked my way forward. <laughs> well, it makes it last longer, I suppose. Yeah. So. Um, a woman goes to get a manicure. Things don't go well. Mm. She wants to sue. How much do you sue for? $1.75 million. Wow. But why do you sue for $1.75 million? Well, she uh, contracted herpes. What? Yeah. She contracted genital herpes, but on her fingers because of the person and, you know, and whatnot. So now she's got to like wear, you know, and she's getting sores and all this. And yeah. What did, 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 she, did she go to the nail place, contract herpes and scratch her foo-foo or something and then got herpes on her foo-foo? They, well, they talk about herpes in her fingers, but not, you know, in the lady garden. They, they just, you know, talk about fingers, but uh having outbreaks and pain and everything. And um, it turns out this place had been uh, sued once before for hygienic issues. And uh, yeah, so she's suing for 1.75 in damages because, I mean, you know, like Eddie Murphy said, herpes, I mean, that's a forever friend. You know, you keep that shit like luggage, you know? Yeah, yeah. You just, just don't just, get rid just, of it. You just embrace it, you know. Yeah, it's, so it comes part of your family. Yeah, but yeah, one point yeah. seven five million. Well, if it, if you're gonna have it for your whole life and it's going to affect you, think about you know. I mean, I that's think a, that's, that's a lot of ointment. Yeah, well, that's true, <laughs> right? You know. Mm. But if she's got an infection in her hand, she can't pleasure her own lady garden without fear of or, making or it worse. Anybody else? Yeah, right. You yeah, know. Yeah. So that's her only fan's uh, career finished. Yeah. I mean, she can no longer go to the men's bathroom to hold things for people. <laughs> haven't, you but, heard of, haven't you heard of rubber gloves? Yeah. You can wear those. You know. But uh, in the article, it does go on to say that, you know, uh, the herpes virus is... Uh, oh, last say. It lasts for a long time, and you can catch it from surface contacts and whatnot. So... A little scarier than I thought. I had I thought there had to be a little ho ho and a bottle of rum for you know for that shit to pass. Excuse me, I'm just trying to get my camera so I can take a photograph of what the fucking dog is doing right now. I'm not sure we need that. Um <laughs> when, 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 I, when I say the fucking dog, I don't mean she's a yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> just okay. Give me a second. Okay. Just as long Talk as it's not, you know. Took some Riding sense. old Dixie home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's a couple others I can bring up as well. Um, I don't mean like lunch or dinner or anything, but, you know, stories that we had. Get out of the box, you silly dog. <laughs> I can't see, so it doesn't make any sense to me. No, uh, I'll, I'll send you a picture. Uh, you have to you have to excuse the room because it's uh you know it's being redeveloped at the minute. But uh, uh, let me see if I can share that to the Discord. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Carry on. You know me. Um. Well, that's hard to do when you don't <laughs> when you forget to mute your mic and you just blather on, blather on, right? You know. Yeah. <laughs> 
I got another one I wanted to bring up. Anybody out in the live chat there travel much? Any of you guys or gals have a job where you have to like Ooh. do some traveling, stay in hotels and whatnot? You know, it's been a long time. I've been time. to Otley once. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's been a long time since your average hotel had a real key. It's mostly these cards these days, right? Well, one of the biggest companies for those cards is called Saflock. Safelock, I guess, but it's S-A-F-L, right? And um, it turns out there's a critical vulnerability to that system. Hackers have now exposed it, and it's on the internet. And they can get through any door they want in literal seconds. So for the little, and this company is one of the biggest in North America for these locks and oh, uh, in the world as well, like, uh, you know, second most popular or something. So a lot, a lot, a lot of hotels have these locks. And at this point, if anybody sees you leave your room, they could be somebody who could be a hacker that's about to go in and raid your bags and stuff. You what? can't, yeah, yeah. You can't trust these hotel locks right now. It's unbelievably bad. Unbelievably I I, bad. I couldn't even trust them while they were working. You know, you, mm. you go to your room and it doesn't open. So you have to go back and right yeah, again. Yeah. Hey, give me a new door key. Oh, yeah. it doesn't work. Oh, God yeah. Sake. I've been there. That's for sure. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, so it's a big deal, you know. Okay, here's Dunk's dog. <laughs> That's a pop filter, a USB cable. <laughs> yeah, there's all sorts of you know digital shit inside there, and she's just like, you know, oh, you know what? This looks comfortable. Yeah, thinks it <laughs> thinks it's a cat, man. You know, about the right Aww. size. Oh wow! Bless yeah, him. yeah, yeah. Oh, that's funny. Four, four, 14 years old, poor little thing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's a few years to have under mm. your belt as a pooch. Mm. You know, especially those little pooches. They run life at high speed. You know, they're not exactly the longest living dogs, usually. Unless they're owned by the queen, they just seem to be cloned and keep going. Well, I've, I've heard the opposite. I've heard that the, the, uh, the smaller dogs tend to live longer. So, oh, really? Yeah. I, so I, I don't fucking know. Yeah. She's got she's got to hit twenty before she gets to the oldest dog in the world. So uh. that's a lot of dog uh, years. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, a lot of dog years. Yeah. I don't think she's gonna make it though. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but that whole hotel thing. Let anybody know who's traveling and stuff to be very careful. Very mm. careful. You know, it really sucks. Really sucks. You know. Uh, you know, on the channel, we talk a lot about, well, at least I do, uh, right to repair and, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, let's be honest, right? Go on, you know? go on, go on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Talk, about, talk about right to repair because we haven't yeah, well, talked about Well, this isn't minutes. right to repair, but it's ownership oh, okay. of data. You know, that's another mm. one that I'm really, really hot about, right? I don't like how these companies feel that they can just track our data and sell it and whatnot, right? I don't like that stuff. I don't like that at all. Um, it turns out that if you have been an owner of a GM car over the last bunch of years, they have been sharing for monetized gain your information with insurance brokers. So your insurance people, even though they're not telling you they know, they are getting like GPS traces of where your car goes, how wow. fast it goes and whatnot. Yeah, man, this has been going on in the background. And... Um, there was a massive backlash just re happening recently where uh, this was finally outed in the public. And now they've stopped doing it unless you opt in and are willing to do it. That's bullshit. There shouldn't be an opt in for that. If I want to opt in to having my stuff shared and whatnot, I want 5,000. No, I want. I want the vehicle for half price on the lease over the, the, the thing because you're making money on me. Fuck mm. you. Fuck you. You know, Wait, it's getting it's, that bad. It's it's like it's like you also sort of say, well, you know, uh, you know, take your take your fucking name off the car as well, please. You know, you got parading around with an Audi badge and whatever. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm advertising. Yeah. You get free <laughs> advertising off me. So yeah, I would yeah, yeah, I would don't want any badges on the car, please. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 
Or uh, buy your average new car and say to the dealer, um, I, I'll take one of those black. I want this option package, but uh, don't put your dealer decal on. You know, I don't oh, want it to say. You that, know. Yeah, 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 that 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 annoys me. And uh, yeah, yeah I, I, I remember my dad when he bought is a brand new car. It came with the dealer things to, on it, and he took it right back. Yeah, he yeah, took that fucking thing off. Yeah, yeah. My my, I remember when we were buying a. Uh, uh, Dodge Daytona, something or other, for my mom in the mid late eighties, whatever the hell it was, a sporty little, basically a K car underneath, right? And um, it came with the damn badge. When he said no, and he was flipping furious, mm. man. Oh yeah, and my dad was like an executive at a big company in Canada, so he's used to people actually listening to what he fucking says, right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It was pissed <laughs> oh, well, i wonder where you got it from yeah yeah, yeah that's <laughs> funny how that works right <laughs> but i hate that crap i hate that crap i'm not advertising for you you know hey. you probably ripped me off fuck you <laughs> I, was, I was gonna say you haven't done any uh commands to our audience tonight because you do, you do have this uh like you know this knack of oh god know, just make making demands to our audience and uh they they do unto what Dick tell telleth them. Any got you got any uh, commands tonight? You know, uh, um, donate donate now donate now to the Felix Computer Fund. We are still doing oh, the fundraiser yeah, for yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I tell you what. I tell you what. I tell you what. Everybody. Yeah. I, I will say. Oh, I will say this. Good Dick won't. Because everybody has been doing some amazing stuff in the background. You know, uh, come on, look, recently, you, Rick got his uh, uh, M game, the microphone. Yep. Pete got a new phone. New iPhone and the uh, mics and everything. Yep. Uh, shut up, shut up, you. I'm talking. And, you got, and, and all, the, all these people, and everyone's going, oh, the shields are great. You know, uh, do you know what? Do you know what? I, I sent him some fucking money the other day so he could go out and buy himself some fucking beer. <laughs> Because he didn't have any fucking money, and and in the meantime, he's 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 having to go through all this like you know, the fundraisers, the, the donations, and the super chats, and they all just go ping. They just go flying out to the to the uh, you know to it's all these other it, people. No, 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 you, you know, shut up, <laughs> shut up. Okay. No, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes I want to see, I want to see some of that love just to fucking dick and everything because he, he does all this stuff. Everybody gets the, all these uh, equipment and donations and stuff, but for fuck's sake, the man who actually does it is on the fucking bread line and he's, <laughs> and he, and he comes begging to me saying, Oh, don't, can you send me a bit of money this week? Cause I'm, you know, I've got any money. You know, <laughs> no, say, Send him some fucking money. Well, you bastards. <laughs> at least you know I don't and, keep and I any you. of it at this point, right? I mean, that's no, no, been proven you, now, right? No, that's because he drink it, you know. That, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, but honest, honest to God, you know, we want to, we want to see some. I want to see some fucking love going at your direction for a fucking change. It's just getting ridiculous. Anyway, that's uh, my rant over. I'll well, I. Now. I am saving up to upgrade my son's computer, so that's a thing for sure. <laughs> no. Yeah, you know. Yeah. He's uh he, he's into video editing and all kinds of crazy stuff. And he's got an older iMac with a G five and the heat coming out of it now. The problem is is it's only got a two hundred and fifty six megabyte amd ati uh, 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 whatever uh, graphics uh, uh, card. yeah a megabyte do they still make those yeah well no they don't I mean, you know it's not possible <laughs> right you know and that's what's holding it back so i gotta upgrade them now that's the thing mm. you know so i'll get them a mac mini with an m chip and that'll do them great for a while you know uh you know i'm worn out i'm worn out after that right <laughs> i need a rest no <laughs> uh, <laughs> Jedi Mike says, sending him drug money. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I, uh, I, I get don't, some... don't don't bother sending him the money. Just send him the drugs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. But uh, yeah, whatever, uh, fentanyl, heroin. You know, it, it will take a lot more. of a lot of more. Most of how easy now, but. <laughs> 
<laughs> most of what you see me smoking when I'm on the show is CBD based because I have fibromyalgia and I'm just making sure I can. You, you see me sitting here doing this and stuff because I get fucking it's, sore as hell. You it's know? for medicinal purposes. Yeah, yeah. And mm. I do get some extra with my disability with the government to help pay for that, right? That's, you know. Because this is actually very, very true because, uh, you know, all the years I've known Dick, I've never seen him like, you know, stoned high. He, it, it, that's doesn't that's happen. Not, the it, shit it, I don't, he's, yeah, yeah. He's he's not a, he's not a stoner. Yeah. yeah. So uh, so when when he talks about his um, uh, drug use, uh, it, do look at it as pharmaceutical use as opposed to yeah, just getting like I mean ripped. Yeah, the stuff I that. yeah the stuff drunk, I buy does have drunk. A, I've seen yeah. him ridiculously drunk. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's high never. Yeah, no. Uh, the stuff I buy does have a bit of THC in me. I mean, I'm mm. not an angel or anything, right? But it is mostly, sure. you know. You just got your you just got your wings stuff behind that t-shirt. We know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm. It's allergic. when you're not wearing your cape. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, I I, I only wear that when I go out. Um, <laughs> but uh, I'm allergic to codeine mm. and a few things, so I can't take any of the opiates mm. for painkillers or any of that stuff, right? And uh, mm. that gets it, it. The stuff that I can take, there's a couple of names I can't remember what they are, but they just ruin my stomach and they make it so I can't eat, and that makes me even more like lethargic and stuff. And that's the last thing I fucking need, right? You know, it's like it's like my wife. You know, she she suffers from chronic pain syndrome amongst other things and she's allergic to a lot of pain medicine right which makes it an absolute nightmare, nightmare exactly to do yeah, pain yeah. management yeah yeah, yeah one, one one thing they haven't done is like you know, haven't tried is medical marijuana or anything like that because it just oh. that just doesn't happen over here yeah, it's too bad because cbd mm. is just so good for that kind of thing right it's mm. amazing you know it really is oh. huh? Heidi high in the did, chat. Yeah, yeah, for although sure. She did, spend, she, did, she did spend a long time giving up smoking, so uh, that would probably like, kick that off again. So, uh, yeah, but you can mm. get CBD and edibles and drops and all kinds oh, of things, true. you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You can't yeah. eat either. It's just that I'm an old school <laughs> fucking smoker and stuff, so I just always get smokables, mm. right? You know, mm. why not? You know. Smokables. Smokables. That's a, that's a good name. We should, we should tag that. Yeah. We should... Yeah, we could introduce that to children, couldn't we? Really? <laughs> don't, 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 don't. Uh, slick, <laughs> slick, six, six, six in the chat says, "No joking, but if you tried a vibrator on your back, oh, I've got a whole big thingy I can strap to this chair, and it's got massagers and heats and blah blah. I got another one for my living room on the couch and whatnot. Yeah, he's, uh, he's, oh, yeah. he's, already, he's, he's already got one. How, how do you think he cheats at chess? <laughs> yeah." yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's got a strap on. <laughs> Not that strap guy. In. No, it's. A, I think in that case, it's a strap in. But you know, where if a man if a man's wearing a strap on, where exactly is he going to put that? Is he, does he put it to the one to the side or above or below? Or I think over just, top. Just it's like an enlargement do, kit. Do you just come over as a double barrel. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stick yeah. on your head. Yeah, mm. I've I've been eunuch, honey, but I went shopping. You're gonna love it. It's just, yeah, that'd be weird, right? Or maybe you strap one to your ass, and you just, you know, it's like for an orgy. You know, you just don't know where you're gonna end up bouncing. Yeah. You know, yeah, it's a real spit roast. <laughs> <laughs> Look, mum, I'm a kebab. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Throw some pineapple on me. I don't know why I said look, mum. I, mean, yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what you're showing, showing off your uh, strap on your penis to your mum for, but you know, you know, we're not going to kink shame. You know, whatever. Hey, small you British your town, family. You guys do yeah. what you do, right? You know, yeah. You know, just just dirty CD toilets worth 196,000 pounds. <laughs> oh man. Very funny. There's, uh, there's probably an effigy of George Michael in that uh, toilet. That's probably why it was worth so much money. <laughs> well, nobody'd miss when they go. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, just a lot like a blue plaque on the outside of the toilet says, so, yeah, George Michael came here <laughs> several uh, times. Uh, 
Um, uh, Denob, Denob in the chat says, uh, hey, how much do you still need for the computer? Well, Ooh. yeah, um, if I was to do the math, I think the, the fund is at about 450 bucks right now. Um, I'll have to log in and double check, but I think it's about 450 and because he's doing video editing and whatnot, I have to get him a step up in Ram and a step up in storage on the base Mac mini. Um, so I've been looking for a refurb one and it runs about a thousand bucks. Mm. Uh, this is all Canadian numbers. So for Americans, that's about, you know, a burger and fries and a milkshake, right? <laughs> But, uh, yeah, you know, and then, um, and you know, his computer does still sort of work. It drops the internet now and then because it gets overheated and the Wi-Fi card screws up. We have to restart mm -hmm. it for him, you know, but, uh, we're, you know, um, um, but it still is decent enough for him that I'm not in a panic. So, you know, I can, like, if I get, if I end up with a thousand bucks, I can take two or three weeks and go, uh, okay, well, let's look for a good refurb deal, open box or something, you know, cause otherwise it runs about 1200 and I'm going to have to buy him a screen as well. So, you know, 200 bucks Canadian, right. You know, oh, you I have a, those are really cheap. Well, I have a 24 inch he can use just to use it right away. And then mm. I'll buy him like a nicer 27, 14, 40 P screen or something. Right. You know? Yeah. 24 is a good size. It's better than fuck all. Right. You know, uh, I've noticed, uh, I, uh, you know, being a visual effects artist, I have noticed that having a fuck all monitor is not as good <laughs> as having yeah, yeah, a yeah, monitor. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's really hard to do that sort of visual editing yeah. stuff, you know, without a monitor. And and not just a visual effects artist, but an Emmy no. award winning visual effects artist. He really is, guys. He's got and, a fucking uh, Emmy and two time VES VES awards as well. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. He's the real fucking deal. He's like he does Hollywood shit. You know, it's fucking mm. crazy. Oh, yeah. Oh, Beetlejuice is coming out soon. Oh, mm. lots. Lot, it, uh, it's, it's really funny see, seeing lots of uh, like you know stuff about rumors and stuff coming up on videos. You know, people are talking about uh, you know Beetlejuice, and I go, I know something you don't know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's so funny. Yeah, <laughs> it's the funny thing about Beetlejuice. Most of the most of the films I work on, I could tell you everything about, and no one will fucking care. Mm -hmm. Whereas something like Beetle, Beetlejuice, you know, it's just like you know, I, I have to keep stunned because that's that's one of those sort of like films that, oh. you know, yeah, yeah, pe people are just like really looking forward to it. And, uh, Felix, Felix is a massive Michael Keaton fan, and he's so excited it's coming mm -hmm. out. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll be interested to see it. It, it. it it could be really good. It could be really good. It might be a pot of shite. Because oh. <laughs> it, it is Tim Burton. Tim Burton has, has, has not done too well as far as his films have been in the past few years. So uh, yeah, we'll yeah, see how, maybe, yeah. maybe he'll be back onto true form or maybe he'll just, uh, you know, yeah. do the whole... I'm I'm Tim Burton now, and I want it done this way. Oh, I hope not, because mm. it, when he gets a little too, it's all me and nobody else. It just becomes a oh well, it all looks good, but it's kind of shit. Mm. You know, um, a couple of shout outs, uh, Denob in Wait. the chat there. Uh, uh, it's not much, but try to get him a better computer with a fifteen dollar direct donation. Big uh, thanks there. Uh, Big thanks. thanks. And then there was. Um, hang on, hang on, hang on. Was was it was it Denob that asked how much how much you need needed to go to finish it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. He, he, was probably, he was probably hoping you were going to say about fifteen bucks. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, not not like six hundred. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Damn it! Damn it! Yeah. No, I was hoping that too, right? But you know, <laughs> we'll get there. We'll get there. You know, we'll get there. Thank you so much, too. Big thanks yeah, here. Thank you. Brilliant. Yeah. Here, uh, get the hearts up. Yeah, there we go. It's I find that mm. reaction is getting a little bit faster. I think Apple's been working on it in the background. Mm. No, they're just getting um, used to you. Yeah. Oh, and uh, and from our own CF Beauty on the Shills account in the chat, we've got a, a twenty-five dollar direct donation what? as well for the Felix Fund. God's sake, we're we're paying her too much. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> see if see if he's like spurting out wine all over a computer now. <laughs> Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> Way too yeah. much. Yeah. <laughs> so CF needs a new keyboard now. If you want to put twenty bucks into the hat <laughs> and a screen, yeah, and a <laughs> bottle of wine because and a bottle know. of wine. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, I think it's champagne. Yeah, you know, you know. Yeah. going to afford to, you know, to throw money around like that. Yeah, she's she's drinking the good stuff now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all, it's all champagne. She's she's on she's on a yacht in Monaco at the moment, just like yeah. you were watching the chat. <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> oh, we're not supposed to give these secrets away, you know. No. Yeah. Well, that's where we are. Yeah. yeah. That's well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I love this new AI stuff because we don't even have to show up anymore. It's well, amazing. Well, we we had to we had to spend like forty thousand dollars to refit the Dick's yacht to make it look like he's living a crummy uh, complex <laughs> in uh, Canada. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's that, co- that that yeah that back wall there costs a fortune. Yeah, you oh, wouldn't yeah. believe it. Yeah. and the uh, and the, we have that special liquid in the tank, the fish tank. So when the when the ship is rocking. You, you, you can't it tell doesn't, it. It doesn't sway. Yeah. yeah. So that's uh, the well. The yeah. fish tank is actually just AI digital. It's not it's, real. They're, they're yeah. They're robots. They're, they're test test the fish robots. Yeah. Test little fish. Testy fish. Yeah. The T one thousand was not built in a day, right? You know. <laughs> First, we're making killer mm. fish. <laughs> what are we talking about? Gotcha. I'm not sure. Mm. Uh uh, Lauren in the chat says, I haven't owned a phone in 20 years. I wish I could go back to a phone that's in the kitchen. You have to hang it up. It has a cord. No answering machine. So if you call me and I'm not home, well, try me later. I, I miss those days. I, I feel like the more apps I put in my phone that give people access to communication, the more I feel like some weird obligation that I have to respond right now. And it's constantly just interrupts everything in life. Uh, you know, why do you want to sit around with five of your friends and just stare at your phones in the living room? It doesn't even make sense. It, you know? it must be absolutely impossible for kids, young kids today to imagine what it was like when you literally had no communication. That's right. Uh, you know, uh, yeah. you know, it, it once upon a time, you go around your friend's house and knock on his door, and say, "Yeah, do you want to come out and play?" Now, nowadays, you send him a Facebook message. Yeah, exactly. Text, text yeah. him, you know. Yeah. Well, I say, I say, text him. No one texts these days. That's a phone thing. Yeah, you know, they'll they'll, yeah. they'll send him a WhatsApp or a, a Telegram messaging. message. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> do you want to come out and play? No. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'll FaceTime few, you then. A few in the chat talking about party lines. I remember that you had to listen for your ring. You know, my, uh, my, yeah, my, uh, grandparents house in Prince Edward Island, when I'd go there to visit when I was young, they had a party line and you had to listen to two for two short and then a long, and that was your ring. Now, other people on the same line could still pick up and just invade your conversation because it was a party line, right? But you're, you weren't supposed to it was a joke. I couldn't believe it. I remember them trying to explain it to me the first time the phone rang. You answer it. No, that's not our ring, but it's your phone. It was so confusing to me. I couldn't, you know, I, you know, and I was born in 70, but it was still like rare, right? You know, Janob in the uh, chat uh, asked me uh, if I still go out and ask my buddies if I want to come out and play. Yeah, but now I do, you know, do you want to come out and play? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, he does it with a bullhorn from a shagging wagon, you know. Ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's his sales pitch with his ice cream mm. cart, you know. <laughs> uh, hey, kids, leave the teacher alone. <laughs> do, do, do. <laughs> mm. Uh, I remember when I first heard that, the the idea of the kids singing it, screaming out loud and stuff. Wow, that was pretty powerful. Mm-hmm. 
It's funny too that the the teacher who brought those kids from music class to the recording studio got in royal shit over it because he basically lied. He didn't say they were going to sing on a Pink Floyd record shouting at teachers. It, yeah. Right? It, <laughs> it, it was it was just a it was just like a school visit yeah. to a, a recording studio basically, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 It's hilarious. You know, that makes it even better, right? Mm. <laughs> you know? Oh. Yeah, but there must there must be some you know, you know, people our age now saying, "Yeah, you hear that? That's me. That's me on that album." Yeah, they're probably they're, yeah they're probably dining on that story. Yeah, thirty like, kids, thirty kids <laughs> showed up, but seven hundred claim it's them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the whole school, right? You know, people that had already graduated. Yep, no, that was me. <laughs> Oh, I'm just getting my little thingy warmed up here. Got a new one. It's even got like a little Borg screen. Oh, wait a minute. Mm. There it is. Yeah. Mm. Works really good, though. This is a full CBD one. Is it? Is it USB? Uh, Three. C. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it, 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 looks, it looks like you're, you're smoking a USB memory stick from the... Uh, um... From the two thousands. Well, it, it holds my taxes and Six, gives you know, sixteen yeah. kilobytes. <laughs> yeah, this is a, it's like MMC. It's an old one, right? Mm. You have to use a parallel connection for this. Oh, yeah. I remember. I remember there was uh, uh, when I was working. What I can't remember what film it was. I was working on. But we always used to do this thing with transferring data because we weren't like you know, on a network. We were doing like you know full you know Battlestar Galactica thing. We were just not connected, mm. and uh, and w w I'd do a do a shot and have to take it to editorial and I'd take it on a lot of USB stick. So I'm taking it from my uh, my 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 you know wonderful Mac to a scummy PC <laughs> that would uh, like twice start the play more start the play more. <laughs> Twice the fucking PC just destroyed my USB stick, oh. right. and, and, and it was my own. It was my own. So I just went. I went to the production office and said, "Look, get me a get me a new USB stick." Yeah, and uh, well, okay, okay. Don't. What do you want? I want this four gigabyte one. It was like a hundred and fifty yeah. pounds or whatever it was. Yeah, yeah. It was like unthinkable. And I said, "Just get me that one." I didn't need it. I didn't need four gigabytes at all. Uh, yeah. And and they did. It did. It, did, it just got me this like ridiculous. And anyway, I'm I'm talking about kilobytes of of transfer. And yeah. they got me this four gigabyte one just because I asked for it. <laughs> mm. That's awesome, yeah. though, right? Mm. You know, I like that very, very much. much. I think it died. <laughs> I've got a really big shout out to do. So cue the alarm, and we've got slick six 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 in with a huge donation. To the Felix Computer Fund for eighty bucks Canadian. Wow. Yeah, actually you know eighty-one something, but you know it was probably like twenty American. No, I'm kidding. It was probably like fifty American, right? To that. get to eighty-one Canadian. I'm 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 gonna tickle my nipple just for that. <laughs> <laughs> you made Yoda happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we we'll get another get another eight. Yeah, I'll do the other nipple. Yeah. His name isn't Grogu, it's Gruesome. And if you tickle him again, it'll groove some more. <laughs> oh, stop bringing back memories of my wedding night. <laughs> <laughs> oh, best porn I ever watched. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have been sitting on the cabinet watching, you know, dirty bastards. Hey, you, you said you, you were, were doing you nothing. Invited. Yeah, you, you were invited. Yeah, you invited. Yeah, you said you were free. I don't know. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. Use the Schwartz. <laughs> uh, Spaceballs reference. Gotta love that. Yeah. Uh, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you what. Do you want to bring up this other story I've got? Uh, uh, let's it'll see. Be be it'll, be it'll be the last one on my uh, on my list. Oh, dude with the beard. Yo, that's a beard. 
That's a beard and a half. But uh, yeah, these are uh, this 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 mm, aliens made me come. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> In a bizarre and unsettling re revelation, a twenty-year-old man from Missouri, who yeah, it would be, his name is Julius Shields, has come forward with claims of abduction by extraterrestrial beings who subjected him to disturbing sexual experiments and purportedly stole his sperm. <laughs> <laughs> and they put it into a tube uh, <laughs> and gave it to Dick Dawson. <laughs> uh, taste it. Uh, according to his testimony, the, the first contact with aliens was marked by what appeared to be friendly interactions when he was a mere 17 years old. Um, what that what, yeah <laughs> friendly interactions with an alien yeah i i that, can i should, touch your tinkle <laughs> you should go into detail but yeah he uh, he recounted seeing glowing orbs hovering outside his home before, those are tall uh, testicles dude <laughs> Of course, street lamps. <laughs> <laughs> Before one of the creatures bearing three tentacles tapped on his window. They wouldn't tap with tentacles, really. You don't tap with a uh, tentacle. Sort of That's like just a dude it, with you? a stiffy in his hands, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Two arms, one cock. Yeah, three <laughs> tentacles. Yeah. Uh, and he, and he, this is the funny thing. He said, So, what's the umbrella for? It's not raining. <laughs> this, this is the funny thing. He says, That was the first time I'd ever seen something that wasn't human. As opposed to all like all those human cats and dogs and things. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I, I've only ever, I've only ever seen human badgers, so I'm not sure what the other ones are like. What? All those, all those, and all those human trees and yeah. human birds, human lobsters, Ooh. shrimp, shrimp, <laughs> jellyfish. <laughs> the first time I've ever seen anything that wasn't human. <laughs> you ever noticed that bald eagles look like Patrick Stewart? Like it's just, you know, <laughs> yeah, better actors. Uh, <laughs> Shields found himself plagued by vivid and explicit dreams involving the alien entities. Uh, these dreams escalated in intensity that culminated in sexual experiences with various beings. Remember, these are still dreams, okay? Uh, but in the aftermath of these encounters, Shields discovered unexplained wetness in his pants. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I can explain it to you, but I think your father should have. <laughs> with, with no presence of sperm. He believes, he believes the aliens were were extracting his sperm for the purpose of creating the hybrid offspring <laughs> with an idiot that looks like that can you, can you imagine well, he's, he's actually if you look at him he's very gray isn't he he's he's gray he's gray he's a gray he's a gray with a ginger beard <laughs> <laughs> All these grey aliens. <laughs> you know that typical sort of like arm Your beard eyed. is soulless. <laughs> that that arm that arm and eyed sort of like, you know, typical grey with a tiny little mouth. You can imagine them just like with a big fuck off ginger <laughs> beard underneath it. <laughs> That's how that's how that's how you spot his children. <laughs> <laughs> but he says he says, despite the inserted uncertainty surrounding his claims. He always remained steadfast in his belief that he had that he had a wet dream thinking about <laughs> aliens, <laughs> and they stole his sperm. Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I've, I've been waiting to do this story for a few days now. Uh, oh my yeah. god! Oh dear! That's just just. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is is a YouTuber. You, I, I, I'm sure you can find him. He's he's he's, he's probably, apparently got a YouTube video where he's talking all about his experiences and yeah, well, you know, as I say, his experience, his wet dreams. It <laughs> sounds like he should be sponsored by Analyze because everything in life shouldn't be painful. <laughs> oh, dear God.
There's some things in life that you should keep to yourself. And if you think that, uh, you know, aliens abducted you and played with your bum, it should probably be, that should be one of the things you keep to yourself. He he, he didn't mention any bum sex. There was no bum sexy alien stuff. It was just, it was just uh, dirty dreams and uh, aliens obviously licking it off uh, from his soggy wet pants. I bet he's not going to have a milkshake anytime soon. <laughs> uh, I mean, maybe, maybe it was just his excuse to, you know, something to explain to his mum. You know, you know, ways like putting his his washing in. You know, all these like crusty underwear. And, yeah, mum, it was it was the aliens again. Yeah, <laughs> uh, those, 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 those fucking aliens just keep you know. <laughs> Oh, tantalizing God. me yeah. with their, 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 their dirty dreams. <laughs> it just keeps waking up in mom's closet with wet pants. <laughs> <laughs> One sec, I need a can of beer. <laughs> <laughs> the problem was it was it was mum's pants he was putting on. <laughs> They're probably wet to start with. Oh dear. Mmm. Yeah, so glad we got that story out of the way because, uh, like I say, that's been that's been hanging around for a little while. <laughs> we needed to get that one out. Needed ne- you needed to know. You needed to hear that story here and now. Uh, <laughs> Don't yes. say we're not educational. <laughs> no, no. Oh my god, that's crazy. That's how desperate for attention do you have to be? That you get a hold of the local news and you go, hey, um, yeah, they make me go piddly poddly. So uh, <laughs> do you want to interview me? I mean, it's just. Well, I mean, that's that's a good question, Dick. I mean, how how far would, would you go? How far could you go? Not that far. I don't. I don't. Uh, I mean, I could say I don't look to be like a famous person. And here I am on camera doing this fucking show. So it's very confusing thing, but it's true. I mean, I I wouldn't want to be known for something like that. Like, uh, Oh, did you know I have the Guinness book of world's record for be able to throat four sausages and not having to (laughs) chew or, you know, like, I don't get it, you know? Yeah. I, I, you know, I've got the Guinness book world record of, uh, uh, sticking my thumb up my ass for uh, two weeks solid. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be, uh, you know, I mean, you'd have a really crinkly, weird-looking thumb, but, uh, you know, <laughs> it's so screwed up. I just don't understand that desperate <laughs> need to, you know. It's like, um, I remember when, I remember when, uh, go on, go on. well, I remember when social media started becoming popular. I wasn't mm. into it at all. I've never had like a Facebook account for me personally. Right? You're not a very social person. No, I don't really like people much. Um, no, but um, um, I remember people would post a picture or a thing, and then you would sit there and watch them refreshing their screen and looking to see who thumbed it up and liked it and stuff. <laughs> and they spend like an hour doing that, and mm, I, I, and I it. In my head, yeah, in my head, all I can think of is you're this desperate for validation from people you barely even fucking know? Mm. You know, isn't that... Don't you... Huh? Uh, yeah. Uh, on, on on that point, don't forget to give the uh, uh, the uh, like button a uh, tickle on the way out. Just, uh, oh, yeah. Just, just, just saying. If you look not, at not, from not, bottom not, to not, top, not, it works not, really not well. Not that we need... Not that we need validation, uh, but uh, yeah, but, but, but we do, but we do. Yeah, yeah. We need, we need, we need validation. We need to know. No, but that's you know. that again isn't truly validation because I don't even like saying you know click subscribe and stuff, right? It's it it's not no, natural. That's why to me. I have to do it. Yeah, but it's actually <laughs> for the YouTube algorithm. We you know, it it works, right? It's not for us. It's well, it's for us, but it's well, it is. Well, it yeah, is. see, it's it's really fucked up. That that's You'll confusing. Get complicated. Yeah, but it is because it's not just so I can go. Oh, you like me? You really like me? It's so that YouTube might go. Hey, people like these guys. Let's promote them mm. a bit more. But right? but you know, having said that, you know, once this show's finished, make sure you come back to the video, come to the comments, and tell us how much you like us, and and most importantly, tell us which one you like most. Uh, <laughs> Hands, hands up, all, all like me. 
Yeah, look, I've got the, I've got like a small pick. I've got him right there when he was a kid. I did, you know, right there. <laughs> yeah, I know because I, I, I know we should just put a poll up. Yeah, yeah. See if you know you, you can do it. Put a put a poll up. Who's who's best, Dick or Dunk? <laughs> Oh, or CF. Don't, you, don't. Can, you can put you can put CF on as a, as a as a third entry. Don't do it. Don't do it. That will start mod drama that will bleed into other channels and just become horrific. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just... Did you see that? Did you see that poll? Yeah. Oh, what? That's, that's atrocious. We can't have that. Let's have our own poll on our show on our YouTube channel. <laughs> we'll do our own poll of a, who's best, Dick or Doug. Oh, you know, all the viewers on this on this show, and we'll have Greg Terry doing it. We'll have you know like Constantine. Do, we'll have you know Starsky will be doing it on his channel. You know, everybody going, <laughs> who's best, Dick or Doug? <laughs> and most 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 of them on the Ukraine shows uh, will be going, who's Doug anyway? I don't yeah. fucking know. <laughs> You're barely never, on it anymore. Never seen, yeah, yeah. <laughs> never, never see the little fucker. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but wait a minute, I'm getting. Ooh, Are we that. even live right now? I'm getting like all kinds of uh yeah, it's buffering, chat it's buffering disconnects at my end. and stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, it's buffering at my end. Yeah, but it's not my computer that's buffering. We've got zero drop frames going to the show. So this is a yeah. YouTube issue, right? Yeah, it seems, it seems it seems to be playing now. We seem to be back. Okay, yeah, because both my live chats for the shills and my personal account were like disconnected. Yeah. You know, what the hell? You know? Yeah. Yeah, so so during so during all that buffering, uh, you you probably missed it, but there was a poll up, and uh, I won. Uh, so uh, thank you, thank you everybody for voting for me. Hey, yeah. Mm. Okay, so uh, <laughs> I'm still confused. My one my <laughs> one account still hasn't even reconnected yet. I have no mm. idea what's going on here. Uh, uh, um, see if see if Beauty says uh, we just crashed. Oh no. Hey, sarcastic barman's in the chat. Hey, buddy, how you been? Man? Hey, yeah. good grief! You're yeah, still alive. Yeah, yeah. We had a we had an outage there. Um, mm. I I think uh, we got we got hacked. But the people that did the hack have oh. been sacked, and we've sacked the people that sacked the hackers, and now we're okay. Oh, I think it was sarcastic barman. I think, oh. I think he, he, he he came lumbering in and just screwed everything up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the live chat can only handle so many Brits that are drinking. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That reminds. That reminds me. Listen, listen to that. Listen to that. Mm. That's that's empty. It is. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm gonna have to fix that. Yeah. Right I like that ding. Mm. Yeah. I think it's the enforcer channel. Uh, you know, the the they're, they're, they're ddosing us. I would say that ding might have been like a C or a D. I'm trying to, I'm trying to use my ear to figure it was, that out. It there. was an empty. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that was on the scale. Oh, we got a shout out here from the official Ken. And he says, don't take my seat, aliens. Ha, ha, ha. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. So oh, gonna, that's, that's the title of our new album. Yeah. We're going to do a chat dance for that. So here, bring it up. Love and lust in blue. <laughs> Don't take my seat, Mr. Alien. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Yeah. yeah. You hearing that? So, okay. I think one of my chats has started moving again, but the other one hasn't. I don't know what to do. Um, mm. Well, oh, just wow. do that voodoo that you do so well. Oh, is that like some kind of dance move? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe it's the uh, you know the herpes on your hands. I don't know. What, what, whatever <laughs> you're doing, just don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was a strange story, man. <laughs> I've never heard of somebody getting their fingers infected with herpes. That was very strange. Uh, uh, I think I, I think I think I've got my few fingers uh, infected with herpes, but that's a different story. <laughs> <laughs> you hang out at the wrong pubs, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Chris Lundy comes in with a member message there. Uh, 
Uh, alien go-go dancers? I'm here for that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Mm. Yeah. We uh we had to we had to ask nicely, but uh Captain Kirk said that she could come and hang out for the night. <laughs> See, thing is thing is uh, it's, it's very it's very sexist though, Dick, because we do have a you know uh, a a good like fifty fifty male female audience these days. And uh, you know, I think I think, you know, to placate the ladies, you need to have like a, a you know, a, a semi naked male alien dancing. And a good looking one as well, not one of those like weird, you no, know, like grey aliens or green ones, you know. No, no, no goblins like me, but you know, just a you know, a chunky Chippendale alien. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Oh, okay. So, what if we take that guy that was on the romance novels, the long-haired dude that was really popular, and just like you know, retone his skin green and have him do a little that, uh, uh, wiener waggle on the screen? Would that work? I, I thought that was you. I thought I thought you modeled for all of those romance novels. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can imagine that. Hold on here. <laughs> Let me just put my joint down. I mean, all right. You know. <laughs> Tall, dark, and handsome, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, sarcastic barman in the chat. Um, he I, he hasn't been around in a while. Uh, the old server w imploded and was killed from a hacker and whatnot. Everything's gone. So um, um, I've got an email for you saved. I'll, I'll pull up the account and figure it out here. I'll send you a little something here. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he Not hasn't cash. been. Yeah, he hasn't been around in a while. That don't, server don't, dead. Don't, don't <laughs> send. Don't send him cash for fuck's sake. Just because mm. you, you're just fucking used to it. You're like, oh, I want your money. Yeah, all right. Yeah, some there's some cash from Dick Dawson. Oh, there. I was I was I'm gonna send him a fucking, nudie pic of you bending over to feed the dog. Is you know the fucking, full moon was out that night. The fucking Jesus Christ of YouTube, Dick Dawson. Right? <laughs> you're cured. You're cured. <laughs> In my Jesus Christ pose. <laughs> you get a drone. You get a phone. You get a microphone. <laughs> hey, it worked. You know? You know? Mm. It was funny. Mm. That really worked, man. Mm. You know? We yeah, did really we, good we, on those uh, couple of streams fundraising. That was freaking crazy. We, you know? We 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 definitely got to get Vladimir Putin on one of the Saturday shows because I think we I think we just could solve the whole thing there and then you know, just be done. Yeah, I'll get Vladimir Putler to show up at my house, and I'll just happen to be a that'll be a day that I had to borrow a friend's gun um. <laughs> and uncovered it in Aliens. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna blow your brains out. From the wrong end. <laughs> yeah. But first, we're going to lubricate this gun with analyses. <laughs> because all the best things in life should hurt. <laughs> yeah. It'd be, it'd be the only guy who have his blown's, uh, his br blown's, blown's brained out. His brain's blown out from up. <laughs> <laughs> out the top of his head. That's funny. <laughs> Boom, baby. Oh. What time? How long have we been on? Okay, yeah, we're mm. all right. We're all right. Far too long. Far too yeah. long. Yeah. I. Uh... Oh Lord, thunder and Jesus! I might have hey, we've still got seventy-two watching. Oh, well, that's did, all right. You know, you know, I, I, everybody in the chat uh, would. We need we need some kind of explanation because on uh, on Tuesday on the Tuesday show we actually broke over a hundred people watching the show, and that's you know a quite a. It was great. Uh, a, a triumphant moment for us. It's, 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 it's a watershed moment. But then I was like, numbers dropped on Thursday and, you know, tonight and stuff like that. We're, we're, trying, we're trying to figure out what, what was it? Because uh, we can't figure out what was it that made us hit the 100 and over the 100 on that night. And it... Yeah, any, YouTube, any, any ideas? YouTube gives us less information than they had on the mice that attacked the birds on the island, right? And it's crazy, you know? Mm. We don't understand it, <laughs> but no. if I did, I'd do it again, but I don't. So I don't know, I'm spitting in the wind still. We'll see what happens, this is, right? This is this is one of the reasons we, we didn't do it on uh, the 42 show tonight, but. We Why we're quitting like, YouTube version 13. 
<laughs> and no, no, it's like oh, well, it's, it's like um, yeah, why on the uh, other forty two shows it was just saying, you know, if you're watching the show, just like say hi, say hi in the chat. So, so we uh, we, we kind of like know hey, who's that worked. there, you know, yeah, yeah. yeah. but uh, yeah, yeah. We didn't do it on the Tuesday because... And if you like what we're doing, yeah. give us a share. Click the share button underneath, and then it'll say, where do you want to share it? Facebook or whatever? And just share it out on social media. Like, hey, I'm watching this. Really funny or whatever. Yada, yada, you know? Or, uh, Mark, Mark Snyder in the chat says it. Yeah, I logged onto the show 92 times. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, uh, yeah, just, just open up every browser and just click on the shills. Yeah, and, yeah. We've got Makes sense, you know? But Tuesday, uh, you, you, you've accused other channels of doing that as, as a potential way of upping the numbers. Well, yeah, uh, do you think it uh, works? Know, uh, do you think it, it actually works? It, it little games like that only work if you're the fir uh, among the first, and then YouTube figures it out, and then it blows mm. up in your face, right? Mm. You know, because what happens is you can get people. I mean, remember that one guy who did the test? You can get people to put six browsers on their computer. And open your show six times and you'll get six views. But mm. after the show is done and stuff, YouTube's computers figure it out and go, wait, this one that was actually, yeah, that was all from the same computer. So we're stripping some of those away. Mm. And so you, you can find a, a live stream that's got 600 people watching live. But then three days later, they only have 900 views. Well, that doesn't make sense. Mm. You know, if you got 600 people watching live, you should end your stream with about 3,000 views, right? Yeah, so, so there's, 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 there's other things. Um, uh, you know, we, we don't like to, uh, you know, name channels and pick on, pick on any, any particular channels. Yeah, but, we don't know, enforce I, our opinions on others. No, no, but I, but I, I, I will enforce this question on you, Be uh, and the chat because it's just like you know on tonight's stream, you know we've got like seventy people watching, and we had eighty you know, some a minute ago, but now we're yeah, boring yeah. the shit out of them. Anyway, go ahead. Well, yeah, yeah, we're, we're talking logistics. So this is very interesting. This is like it's like it's like you accountancy, but for YouTube, you know. But yeah, we um, it's yeah, fun so, 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 to charter an accountant. So if I if I if so if I if I look, open up the uh, participants window now and I just, just look at that, there's like you know one two three four. There's about twenty people. There's about twenty people who are currently in the chat, and we've got seventy two watching now. But then, how is it? How is it when you go to a channel? That I'm not again. I'm not going to enforce enforce the uh, the details on this. But when they have like ten thousand people watching, ten thousand watching, yeah, yeah. But only but only eighty people participate in. The yeah, chat. that's that's ridiculous. The ratio that, there doesn't make any sense to anyone. Yeah, I, you know? I, I just, I mean, uh, people have sort of like said. Possibly that they're buying views, or they've got bots w working to watch their their, yeah. their streams. But that's against YouTube's terms and services, and and so we're not going to play that game, you know, on, on this channel, you know, because you could lose your channel. Oh, dude, and and but honestly, if you cheat to win, you haven't won. So. If you actually get self-satisfaction out of being a cheater to win, you're already a piece of shit. So who fucking cares? Right? I imagine, yeah, but I imagine the people we're talking about are the kind of people who would actually cheat their exams and stuff like that. But, totally. Yeah. Totally. Mm -hmm. And, you know, when it comes to a little bit of a back and forth, like, you know, I'm going to pick fun at you and you might come back at me. Um yeah, I, I'm going to use our button, uh, the new button. Um, th this is how I see it, right? Ferris, take it for me. A, you can never go too far. B, if I'm going to get busted, it is not going to be by a guy like that. You know, so oh, pick on him. Uh, and and bar, bar, Barman, Barman, I'm going to come back to your story in a second. Uh, your question in a minute uh, on an interesting mm. subject. So, so, so yeah, carry on, Dick, yeah. Yeah, but... Um, you know, um, there, there's, uh, you know what? 
I want to back away from where I was going because I don't. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, filter, I'll, I'll change, I'll, filter I'll, I'll, kicked in. I'll, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. change. I'll change. I'll change the subject a little bit, and then you you might find a a better you know uh, analyzed way to bring back to what you were talking want to talk about without actually you know getting over the top. <laughs> but no, there, there was a there was an interesting situation happened the other night. I, I was watching a I was watching a stream, um, uh, and just like just momently clicked on it and it was getting late for me anyway so i thought you know i'm not gonna, i'm not gonna watch it and i i clicked away so i was only like there for like 10 15 maybe 30 seconds tops and i and, I, and i'd left i got an email the next day telling me that i had been gifted a membership oh yeah channel. yeah yeah and and the, the the email the time of the email email was way after I'd stopped watching, so mm. it so it kept me yeah in the participant you're, list yeah even though I wasn't watching. That's right. Uh, so and because of that, we know that we should be asking people if you're watching right now, but you're not in the live chat, just pop in the live chat and say hello because that helps us with the YouTube analytics. Mm. Right. But, yeah, because because I wonder how many times uh, we've had you know Aussie T or, or you know because he was like the monster at it, but yeah. people gifted memberships to people who are no longer there, and they don't even know. That's right. Yeah, until they yeah. get an email to go, what the yeah. shows? What was that? I don't remember watching that. You know, they've got no idea. It's, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's interesting shenanigans and machina machinations within the uh, YouTube. Uh, system yeah yeah it's very crazy um sarcastic barman send me an email at the silly shill show at gmail.com i can't pull you up as a save contact because you know uh two years ago and whatnot i just knew your email and i damn well basically got it but i'm not sure i'm right so just Email me at the silly shill show at gmail.com. Mm. I'm already, I'm in the thing, so do it there. Um, oh, just just find the mill. Just look, search for the mill. I, find the pub, find the pub and ring him up. I, I swear <laughs> to God, I could pull up the location on Google Maps right now, right? You know? <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah, ring the, ring the pub up. Yeah. But we're getting close to two hours I think, here anyway. I, th I think it's I think it's the telephone telephone box outside the pub, so that's probably ringing right now. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. that's the only communication they got. You know that that you know, sort of like deep inside the well yeah. borders. Yeah, and you go in that telephone booth, and it's a lot bigger on the inside. Funny that, <laughs> and smells of piss. Yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. There's a weird thing. Are, yeah. are we are we run out of time? Is the time's up? Well, you know, we're getting on a minute 40 or an hour 44, a minute 44. Oh, what the fuck? You know, and <laughs> when, when, when this can of beer runs out, I either have to get a couple of more or, uh, you know, right? Die. Yeah. Yeah. But I was thinking we could probably turn it into like a voice chat hangout over on the Discord for a bit. I myself have an early morning. So being 7 p.m. now, I only have like an hour or two to hang out and then I'm done. You know, mm. but, uh, you know, maybe we could do that if everybody's into it and stuff. Uh. Oh, sorry. I didn't mute that. Uh. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, exactly. See mm. the effects of alcohol. Yeah. You should put a voice changer on that. You do. That'd be great. But a bit of echo. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Yeah. Maybe not. So, um, let's see here. Uh, ah, okay, cool, cool, cool. That's why it didn't work because I was using the full first name and last name with the, the number, right? I knew I was close. I knew it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. All right. What are you talking about? I was talking to sarcastic barman and, uh, cause CF beauty in the back oh. end gave me some information there. And uh, well, that didn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> Hope she used fist it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because your own team on YouTube mm. should not make yeah. things hard yeah. on you. Yeah. Let's face it. 
CF is always working on your back end. <laughs> <laughs> and I've seen it. It leaves a lot, leaves a lot, a lot of work. Getting slapped around with, uh, you know, um, yeah. I've, I've seen, I've seen ruins in, in uh, Rome that look worse than you know, the ruin of your yeah, asshole. Yeah. yeah. The effects of leather and corn are devastating. <laughs> just let me tell you. <laughs> it's not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. They, they, you know, making the whole joke about uh, masturbation and stuff being uh, buffering has got me mm -hmm. to the point now where when somebody makes the joke in the live chat, I'm like, wait a minute, is the stream fucking up? Yeah, I'm not yeah, sure yeah, that was yeah. the best idea. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, are we talking about masturbation? Uh, <laughs> yeah, or was, or was yeah, the stream yeah, fucked? Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah we, we need to we need, we need to change that. Yeah. yeah. No, Captain yeah. Highliner, but I've blown ashore a couple times. We'll, we'll 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 just change the uh, you know if if the stream is fucking up, we'll just call it wankering off. Yeah, so yeah, so yeah, buffering yeah, yeah. buffering is masturbation stream failing it's wanking off <laughs> yeah, so, exactly so yeah, just, yeah. just so we're clear on that yeah youtube is <laughs> helping no jack confusion. off the horse again <laughs> <laughs> so let's uh let's all uh, i'm gonna run away for 10 minutes when we click the button and I'm mm -hmm. going to get a couple extra drinks. And why don't we all hang out in the Discord for a little bit and have some fun? And um, if you get drunk and ornery, trust me, I'll tell you off and then I'll leave myself. Mm -hmm. So let's not do that either. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Join the Discord and I'll, I'll, uh, I'll send everybody all my dick pics because <laughs> I've got lots of pictures of dick. You know, when it comes to his camera, it's always full of cock. I, it's, it's, it's not my dick. I don't want to any pictures of mine. That would be ridiculous. No, I'll just, that I'll takes just, a just, macro just, lens. I've just, I've, just got, I've just got a random collection of dick pics. It's, 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 a, it's a hobby. It's a hobby. You know, some people collect beer mats. Some people collect, you know, um, you know, the Funko Pops. You know, I just, I just collect dick pics. The fuck is a Funko Pop? It sounds like a hey, come a on. frozen thing that you shouldn't put in your mouth. <laughs> you know, come on, Dick. It's twenty twenty four. Come on, get get with the times. Get with the times, bro. Hang with the kids. So <laughs> let's say good night from two old men. Obviously, I'm the older one because I don't even know what a Funko Pop is. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Lame ass. Lame ass twat. All right, is it just me? Come on, yes, people no, in the chat. It can't just be me, right? It just, really? It's just, it's just you. It's oh, just that you. sucks. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, cool. are, are we doing? Are we doing? Are we doing credits now or or uh, hot mic? I don't know. Uh, let's just we'll we'll do credits now. Oh, yeah, you'll we'll just like end it and just go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Here, fuck the lot. Yeah, hold, yeah. hold on a second here. <laughs> We'd, yeah. we'd like to we'd like to thank our team, but Dick can't be bothered. So fuck you. <laughs> There's been a few times when I miss because, like, on the on the Ukraine show or something, I say, "Okay, yeah. we got like five minutes to hang up here, everybody. We gotta go." And somebody goes into, uh, "Oh, but I heard about this and blah blah," and I get so. You know, like Felix is in the background. He's like, Dad, I'm not, you know, patient anymore. You know, <laughs> try. Hey, I tell you what, I tell you what, let's, let's, let's mix it. Let's mix it up. We do, we do, we do reverse roles. I'll do, I'll do the credits for the crew and you do the, uh, the like and subscribe bit. Yeah. Be a, be no, a man. No, there's a reason we do it the way we don't, <laughs> don't, no, no, don't buy. I, no. Just because no. you can't, just cause you can't say it. Can't I, say it. Like, I can't. Like, yeah, like. <laughs> Ah, okay. Um, go on and get on with it. Please like, share, and subscribe because it really <laughs> helps the channel. Ah, oh, no, like it, I like it, like it, hate like you. Fuck. Like it, like, like it, like you like your grandma giving you a big fat kiss on the lips, and like, like it, like it, like you it was the first time when your dad fucked you up the ass. Like it, like, um, dear yeah, God, <laughs> like it when you. <laughs> 
like it like the first time you saw your sister in the shower. Like it like uh just, well, just like it like a YouTube channel. Just hit the like <laughs> button. I don't fucking know. Just, just like it and share it. Share it all around. Share it like herpes on fingers. If Please, you show yeah. up in the Discord for the hangout after, we promise he won't get to talk a lot. You'll be all right. <laughs> I won't be there. <laughs> Uh, don't forget to th- th- don't forget to thank the team. Do the team bit now. Yeah. So a huge thanks to CF Beauty. She runs the teams. Uh, you you've been talking to her on the Shills channel there. Uh, she, she, uh, probably, she, she probably won't after tonight's show. But. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Right. You know. I'm sure I'm about to be told off in like six yeah, different yeah. languages or something. Right. Spanky spanky time. Yeah. And the 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 mod team for sure because they make our place of friendly awesome place to be and the mod team also participates in the research that brings us all the stories that we use on the 42 shows and whatnot and the ukraine uh, update channel is our show as well so they provide a lot more than it looks like on the show at times so a huge fucking shout out to the team because uh, are you kidding me there we go um <laughs> Because, uh, you know, like without them, we would have to do so much of the work ourselves that we wouldn't be able to do all the shows we do and stuff. There wouldn't be enough time, man. No way. Can't can't build it either. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So the team is, team is CF Beauty BME. Because you're you're not doing it. You're not reading it out. CF Beauty BME. PJC that skits crash and and some and somebody called Dick Dawson never heard of him and uh, yeah that's the, that was the team tonight and uh, well probably a few others but you know thanks everybody for watching yeah big thanks and uh, thanks for supporting and helping out and stuff uh, the Felix Computer Fund grew today I very much appreciate that and mm-hmm. coming uh, let's get the Discord link dropped in the chat. Now, when I say that, you might think, oh, he's bossy motherfucker. They're so much faster than me. There's no point in me even trying. I might as well just ask them to do it, right? You know, you don't, you don't get it. They're so, our team is so good at this stuff. Mm. You know, it makes our lives easy. So come on over and join us in the Discord, and we'll get drunk and, you know, do ridiculous Sp- things spank a monkey yeah. yeah maybe we can fire up some of the jackbox games and fuck around who knows right we'll have mm. a vote and in the end um i'll decide what we're gonna do so we'll see you there <laughs> <laughs> good night fellow good night. babies good night stay shitty hit that button boom